Alright, g'day guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're finishing off the 12 volt setup in the truck. So I've got to wire up all this sort of stuff. We've got the battery sitting in the back at the moment, so um, that's pretty much the best spot I can find to put it. It's the only spot that fits. Um, we've got some LED lights to put up in the canopy. So I'm going to start by pulling this um, switch panel off and then we're going to wire up everything that we can to the point where I've got to put it back in. Um, and then I'll have to run some leads to the battery. So I only want pretty much two leads coming to this battery and the rest is going to be behind this. Okay, so the first thing is to wire up as much as we can um, outside of the canopy. So pretty much everything um, with the positive is going to run through this fuse block here. So all we have to do is from the battery run 12 volt to the top of this. You pop a fuse in and then you can get 12 volt out. So that means that the back of this where it says plus here that's 12 volt, so we have to run that plus to one of these. We have to run that plus to one of these. Basically wire all this up to that um, and the top of this uh, voltmeter. So what we're going to do with the negative side of things is I'm going to make a common. So I'm going to put a bolt here um, and then we can just feed everything that's earth to that and then we can earth that back to the battery. So just in preparation, I've got as much laid out as I think I'm going to need. We've got some nice thick red and black wire. I've also got some twin core wire, which just means that it's got a red and a black running through the center of it, and it's very thick. Um, I've got some leads already made up, some red and black leads. Heat shrink, solder. I've got a blowtorch to solder. Um, I've got some crimpers and some wire strippers. So I think we're ready to start. I'm just going to start by drilling this main hole to get this main wire through to the 12 volt. Alright, so that's pretty much going to go to the plus on the battery. If you don't know how DC power works, basically you always need an earth and a positive. So positive is always red and earth is always black plus and minus. So once we send that to the battery, we will get um, 12 volt power, positive power to the top of here. Um, and now we just want to connect every single part that we can. All right, so these connections here are what we call a spade connection. So I've got to crimp some wire with a spade connector on it. So to do that, what we do is we grab our wire, our wire strippers, strip back about that much. I always put a bit of heat shrink on and a spade connector, which is just like that, insulated one. Put that on, grab my crimp tool. You can see here there's color coded. So we've got a blue connection, which means I need the blue crimp. Crimp that on. And just because it's live 12 volt, if this ever touches part of the tray or the canopy, it would actually short out and blow a fuse. So I always just pop a bit of heat shrink over it a blowtorch. And just melt it down like that. So that's ready to pop on the back of that switch. Um, we've got to do that for every single one. So I've marked my holes where I'm going to drill for these circuits. So just pop that through. Alright, so push that wire up. I'm going to push this up and then crimp it so I don't have to drill such a big hole comes up through there so then put a connection on it that pretty much will then sit like that and connect that so once again we've got our blue connector with a round hole a bit of heat shrink heat shrink on first blue connector I always like to see just the tip of the wires come through once again blue crimp Just connect that. Like that. Bring that up and over. I don't want to see any blue. If you get this flame too close, you will start burning it just like that. So that's that. Now that will be pretty hot, but I'll try and just get that down. 
All right, and that's the first one of them done. So pretty much that means that this USB now has um, a positive wire ran to it once we put a fuse in the top of there, but we still need to run the negative. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is put a bolt in somewhere and we're just gonna have a common earth for everything. So we'll run every earth or, or negative back to that point and then that point back to the negative side on the battery. So I know it looks a little bit messy, but we've got all the positives done. Um, now I've just got to do the earth. So I've put a common earth uh, bolt in here. So that means that all our earth connections will now slide over that. And then we'll put the main lead um, from there back to the negative side on the battery. So I know it looks like there's a lot going on here, but pretty much what we've got is we've got power coming into our LED screen and on the other end coming out of that, so you can see here it says the load so it can read the amps. We've got our Ingle fridge plug, so that'll be good. It'll show what the fridge is drawing and it'll show the voltage coming back in. Solar controller on the other side here. So basically these two thick red, red and black wires here, the twin core wire, That'll go to the top of the canopy up to the solar panel. So that's done. We've got their, our rocker switches wired in. Um, they are pretty much only gonna run the cabin lights at the moment, so I'll have three spare. And we've got our USB and our cigarette lighter. So I know it looks like a mess, but it's pretty organized as much as I can get it. So I'm gonna put that in the car. So I've just drilled a hole through here because the battery's gonna sit here. So I have to run these two power leads through that hole. I have to run these two skinny ones, which is going to be our, our 12 volt lights. Um, so I'll have to run them up in the corner here somewhere and I'll have to drill a hole through the roof and run this twin core for the solar panel. All right, so they'll go to the battery, which is good. Right, so there for the lights. And all I have to do is the solar panel. This is what we call a waterproof gland. Uh, what happens is you actually got to drill a hole the same size as that. You put that through, sandwich it on, and then your wires can go through here. And once you screw that up, it's actually got a piece of rubber in there. So it'll, it'll do that bit of rubber up until it squeezes and compresses on the wire like that. And then once that's locked up, it won't leak water. So that's what I'm going to use to bring the, the solar panel through. Um, the solar panel wires, sorry. I'm gonna drill a hole here and try and run them nicely through this gap here. All right, so that's the waterproof gland fitted. Um, so they're really good because they just don't leak any water whatsoever. So I've still got to fix the solar panel down with some screws and some silicon. Um, and then if you jump down here, we've got to connect the solar panel to the twin core, so those two. Still got to put the lights in, which is those two. And um, still got to connect the battery up. So it's all looking pretty good. I'm 
we've got the solar wires coming through here um, got the light wires here and then got the battery terminals over there so it's time to put that board back on the wall hopefully for the last time and um, yeah then we can do the rest of it with that up on the walls right so now that that board's um, back in place we've got our sort of lights popping up here so everything's got power we've got 12.94 volts on the um, reader there and our current and our power won't pop up until I plug the fridge in so um, next step is to put these LED light strips up I'm gonna have two in the middle and one on each door Right, so I've soldered all this in, I've put some um, conduit around it just to protect the wires and now I'm just putting these little zip tie um, holders on, so they go up there and that way we can now zip tie that off to there and make it look neat. Alright guys, so um, I've finished the light, so we've got all four of them working now. Um, I've put the fridge back in, I've tested that that all works, so um, when we plug it in we do get a current reading and it draws about 3 amp hours, so that's good. Um, then the last step is to just screw that um, solar panel on top and then she's all good. We've got the solar panel on the roof. We've got the um, switchboard in, the lights on this switch here are all working, so we've got two in the middle, one on each door. Now pretty much I went one on each door and two in the middle because if, you, um, if you're standing here I didn't want a shadow with your hand here and if you had one there then there would be shadows as well. So um, I've plugged the fridge in, so that's running, the fridge is running at the moment and as you can see up here on the screen it shows how many amps it's pulling so that's exactly what I wanted to know um, which is good so I've still got to sort out a box for that or just at least a lid so it can't short out but other than that um, the setup's almost finished it's looking pretty good pretty happy with it I've always wanted a setup like this so it's good to see it all coming together so yeah alright so we're done for today uh, wiring can be a little bit daunting, but once you sit down and do it, it's honestly not that bad. You just got to really think about what you're doing and um, yeah, you'll eventually get there. So if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and yeah, see you next time.